At one of the vaccination centers in Kigali City, the Amaro National Stadium, many young men and women had turned out early on Monday morning to get the vaccine, something they call a great opportunity. I feel good and confident that I am better protected. I waited a long time to get vaccinated, wondering if it will ever happen. I missed out last time, and when I heard that this latest phase was starting, I was determined to get the jab regardless of where I had to go to get it. I urge all people to come and get vaccinated and see how important it is. I am very happy and surprised as well because considering the fact that we have not yet started manufacturing our own vaccines here in Africa and they come from Europe and America, the fact that the government is actively working to get them, whether it be through buying them or support from other countries, I am very touched that the government cares about young people like this, we being the strength of the country. At some sites like this one, at Club Rafiki in Yamirambo, the personnel had to be more than double to cope with the numbers of people seeking to be vaccinated. Some people who came to get vaccinated were over the age of 40, saying they had decided to wait and see if the vaccine is safe. Far more people than we expected turned up and we adapted accordingly. We had four doctors initially that were vaccinating people and now there are ten. Ever since COVID-19 was first detected in Rwanda back in March last year, Kigali City has without a doubt been among the worst affected, going into three total lockdowns, which is why mass vaccinations like these are so important. When you look at how many times we have gone into a total lockdown and the fact that we have many day laborers in the city that make a living earning wages, you understand how difficult it must have been for them to endure such lockdowns. The government did everything possible to ensure that such people got food supplies and now it has provided vaccines. So let us make sure we get vaccinated. But we must also not become complacent towards the preventive measures, thinking that just because vaccines have become available, it is the end of corona. No. Government health officials are pushing for this third phase of mass vaccinations to end with at least 90% of Kigali residents vaccinated. For Kigali, we want to vaccinate everybody because it is a very busy city with people going about their business. They don't sit at home all day. So vaccinating all of them would significantly help the country's economy to get back on track. We expect that at the end of this latest phase, 90% will have gotten the first jab. Close to 51% will have gotten both jabs by then. Mass vaccinations in other parts of the country could begin as early as Wednesday. It is not just Kigali because the vaccines are being distributed across the country. Today we are receiving another 230,000 and on Tuesday they will be going out into the provinces. We are coordinating with authorities there, the governors and others at lower levels to ensure that priority is given to the elderly, but also younger people engaged in business people in the hospitality sector, in transportation, those working in hair salons, and so on, they will all get vaccinated. The vaccination exercise there should begin on Wednesday. This latest phase of the mass vaccination exercise encompassing all people 18 years and over could last two weeks.